Hey everybody, have you ever gotten that virus that just won't go away and keep hitting delete and it, it says it can't delete it? Or, you know, the uh, says the file name is being used and it, it, won't, it can't delete it. Well, this video is going to show you how to get rid of that. And we're going to go into the task manager and we're going to look for the file name running in a process. And that's usually why it won't go away because it's running. And you have to turn that process off first. Okay, you right click down on the taskbar down here. It brings up your menu. Go to task manager. And it shows you the applications that are running. Uh, what we're going to do is go to processes. Click on image name and you'll sort them in alphabetical order. And you're going to look for the one that was mentioned in the virus report. Usually at the end of the when AVAS finds a virus or whatever your program is, it'll show the file name. And the first you want to look for that file name in the list of processes that are running. So I don't happen to have any viruses in here so I can't show you an actual virus file. If you don't see it in here then it's not running. If you find that file name just highlight it and then click end process. Okay we're going to close that. The other is you go to your start menu, click on run, or the other shortcut is to hold down your Windows key and hit R. That'll bring up your run menu. Okay, you may or may not have found it in the task manager is, is running in a process. But now we're going to go into the reg edit and we're going to turn it off so it can't auto start. You want to type in reg edit. Click OK or hit enter. This is going to bring up your registry editor. And as always, first thing you want to do before you ed do any editing is make sure my computer is highlighted. Go to File, Export, and give it a name like, I don't know, the date or whatever you want. Save it in my documents or someplace where you'll remember. And that will back up your entire registry. So if you make a mistake, you can go back. Okay, what we're going to want to do is click on H key local machine software and we'll go down and find Microsoft go down and find Windows current version and run and you want to make sure that the only thing you have in here is maybe AVAST and a couple other things but look for that virus file in here and if you have a registry that doesn't have any any information it's just kind of a blank registry item you want to definitely click on that right click and delete and that'll take it out of your registry also look under the other run look under run hidden can you can pretty much tell what they are if you if you move over maybe even go full screen and you can drag these windows around so you can kind of look where the, where the file is located if it's located in a temporary folder then it's definitely a virus if it's um, normally to be local programs or username local settings temp that's a virus because nothing that runs with your computer should be uh, located in a temporary folder so continue on with all the runs run once run execute run services and make sure you don't have the virus name in there and if you do go ahead and delete it okay we can exit out of reg edit okay now we're going to go into ms config and we're going to look for the virus or the program that's causing the virus and we're going to turn it off in the ms config so it can't start with windows and go back into the run command and type in msconfig click OK go to your startup menu and look for that virus file in here and once again you can in um, in XP you can turn everything off in here uh, you can move this window over so you can look at the the registry string or the program string so you know pretty much what it is like this is my AVAST antivirus I'm going to leave that on um, the other stuff I know I need I'm going to leave that on 
Um, and once again, I don't have any viruses in here to show you, but sometimes you'll get a, it'll just be a box, and it's checked, and there's nothing here. That's definitely a virus. Look for that virus name in here, or any other program that you know shouldn't be starting up with your computer. And uh, click OK, and then click Restart. Okay, and this part's going to show you how to unregister the file name, whether it's uh, after you've done the scan and it comes up with the file name and the virus. We're going to go in and unregister that file name, whether it's a DLL file or an execute file. And that way, if it does try to start again, it won't know what program to use in the registry to open itself. The other thing is, you go to Start Menu, Run, type in CMD. That'll bring up your command prompt window. Once you have the command box open, we're going to type in reg server regsvr32 space forward slash u space and the file name that you're looking for, dot whatever it is, whether it's dll or exe dot whatever the virus file name is type it in here and hit enter and that'll unregister the file from the registry and then you should be able to delete it from there you can close your command prompt window most virus files like to hide in your system temporary folder and your user temporary folder and this clean manager is going to show you how to empty that out and the other thing we're going to do is go to start menu run type in c-l-e-a-n MGR that's your clean manager click OK and then select your C drive and click OK again and that will delete your temporary files temporary internet files and your recycle bin once that's done scanning you want to make sure recycle bin is checked temporary files you don't want to compress your old files because it just makes a mess of your system. Click OK and yes to perform this action. This final step is going to show you how to reveal hidden system folders and files and in file names and the extensions like .execute.dll and it's also going to show you how to del manually delete those file names. So it's not really depicted in this video but if you have a it's going to give you the, the basic idea of how to delete files manually and you can go in and do a search for that file name and delete it. The other thing we do is right click my computer, go to Explore, Tools, Folder Options, click on the View tab, and, make, and put a check and show hidden files and folders, and take the check mark off of show known file types. Click OK, if it looks like this when you go in you have to click on next to my computer next to C drive local disk it might look different or say a different name but it's always going to be C drive let's open this up a little bit go to documents and settings username local settings click on the temp folder and highlight everything in the temp folder right click and delete some files won't be able to delete them because you're being used. And you also want to go down to Windows. Click on Temp. Select one file. Go to Edit. Select All. Right click and Delete. Sometimes you can't delete the perflib files. So you have to bypass those and just delete some at a time until you get them all. Okay, as always, I hope this helped and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.